Chapter 17, Evolation A month has passed since my death in 2150, and this long separation from the macro society has been hard to bear. Yet as I sit here in the warm spring sunshine on the small balcony outside my apartment, I know that I've come to accept this separation, and even the terror and pain of my last hour in that future world. I no longer condemn or feel any anger toward Elgon, Sela, or anyone else, for I myself chose my experiences. Anger, like all other violence, is a last desperate attempt by micro-beings to deny responsibility for their life situation by blaming it on others. Violence and anger will, therefore, continue until man learns to accept full responsibility for everything that happens within his life. I hope that I have arrived at that point in my soul's evolution. And now, Carl, as my mother entrusted me to you, I entrust this journal to you, to do with as you see fit. Soon I'll come down and join you and Nada for one last meal together. At the end of this evening, I'll kiss you both and say that I look forward to seeing you again soon. Forgive me for writing my farewell instead of speaking it. You are dearer to me than I could ever say. It's taken me such a long time to learn that all failure is success. All death is birth. I'm going to evolate tonight. You see, last night I had another vivid dream, Carl. It was a vision. I made a rough sketch of it for you and Nada on the next page. Thank you doesn't begin to say enough, Carl. Remember your dreams. I'll be there. I am with you always. I love you. We are one. Bye for now. John.